watching NBC 26 exclusive report. A meeting was held tonight to discuss the working conditions inside the Green Bay Correctional Institution Institute. NBC 26 was invited to listen in as they discuss the issues. NBC 26's Eric Crest was at that meeting. He joins us now at 10 with what he learned. Eric. Tonight, about 20 correctional officers from the Green Bay Correctional Institute met in De Pere to voice their concerns and frustrations about what they describe as brutal working conditions. Now, we weren't allowed to film the meeting. Many of them feared they would lose their jobs if they appeared, but I can share with you some of the disturbing details that I heard personally. Let's start with mandatory overtime. I met one man who works the third shift who only sees his children about five hours a week. He says the night shift is seven employees short of fully staffed. Since January 1st, he's already worked 850 hours of overtime. What he and others want is for management to listen to them about their safety concerns. They complained about often being thrown onto different shifts, with, which is regular, with inmates they're not used to which can be dangerous for them. These aren't people who, you know, are being locked up because they missed Sunday school. That's not what they are. And these are very, very violent people. And every move that's made, every decision that's made, affects a human life, okay, whether that's the correctional staff or the inmate. And their concerns were not going unheard tonight. Senator Dave Hansen was there who recently proposed nine different bills to make state-run prisons safer. Another man in attendance, Officer John McKee, he was recently assaulted by an inmate who threw boiling hot water on him, burning 40% of his body. Tonight, Officer McKee seemed to be in good spirits at the meeting, but his coworkers were clearly angered for him. Keeping you connected, I'm Eric Kress with NBC 26.